to go something like this. So, uh, what am I doing? Uh, let's just do a nice easy one. Is equal to, or that really just means equivalent to, bleh. Let's just say in mod 6. Okay. Now, mod 6 just means you have a 6 hour clock. What does a 6 hour clock look like? Well, I don't know. It's a weird clock. It looks something like this, yes? There's six numbers on it. Always start with zero. Go down to five because those are the numbers that you can get for a remainder when you divide by six. That's literally what that means. So let's divide by six. Now, if I was doing this with a computer, I'll show you what I do in a minute on, on, the, on a calculator. I'm just going to do it like I'm in third grade again. You don't have to do it this way. I'm just showing you. Six, seven, eight... Remainder 5 looks like, huh? So if I do this on my calculator, it says 528 point whatever, yes? And what is 528 times 6? 528 times 6 is equal to 3168, I think. And if you take 3173, which is the original number, minus that fella, you will see you get a remainder of 5. Okay, that is how I do it with a calculator. Okay, but I'm showing you that this is what it just really is like old school over here. It's the same deal. It's you do you. You do you, friend. That's all. That's a piece of cake. Am I right? Yes. I feel like it's not hard. This is I got 18. Well, then you screwed up. <laughs> okay, you will get a number between 0 and 5, yes? Because those are the only possible remainders you can have. If you got a remainder of 18, you should have gone in a few more times, yes? That's too big of a remainder. Okay. It would be similar to this. Like if I had to start this right off the bat, watch me screw this up on purpose. Mr. Groom, I think that 6 goes into uh, 31 four times. Well, I think you're an idiot because there's a remainder of 7. That's too big, right? So if it's a remainder that's bigger than the number you're going in, you got to go one more. Oh, there you go. This is like Mrs. So-and-so taught us back in the day. That's right. And then away we go. Now, Eric, yeah. Eric, you'll also have a few of these, my friend. 31 times 83 minus 16 is equal to blah mod 7. Because I feel like it. Again, here's my clock. Right? There's my clock. It's an oddball looking clock, but it is what it is. What is 31 times 83 minus 16 just for a good time? You just make us do that just because to make it harder? I guess. You got a calculator for God's sakes. It can't be that hard. 2557. Five, what is that equal to in mod 7? I don't know. Let's divide it out. 7 goes into that. Uh, 365 point yada 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 times, yes? So let's use the, let's lose the yada yada yada, shall we? So 365 times 7 is? 2,555. 2,555? Nice. And so if you take 2,557 minus 2,555, it's clear your remainder will be loss. See. Si. See, si it's bueno. Question? No. You're good? Yeah. What's the matter, Irene? What's the matter? I was told, I was told that 7 goes into 2,557. 365 point yada 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 times. Okay. Drop the yada yada yada, times it back out, and then minus them, that's your remainder. That's literally all there is to it. Okay, it's not very hard. Now, there is one part of the uh, assignment today. I just want to show you this. One, you'll see one that looks like this today. No, let's do plus 10 just for fun. I'll do a minus one in a minute. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Mm -hmm. There's a, there's a mod there. Now, I would like you to do this one here. There's like four or five on your homework today that are like this, but I want you to do them this way, please. I want you to convert each one of them individually. So I would like you to do this individually. What is 16 in mod 3? I'd like you to do what is 9 in mod 3. And I'd like you to do what is 10 in mod 3. I'd like you to do them individually before you add them together, okay? There's only a few of them on an assignment like this. I want you to do them individually. So what is 16 in mod 3? Well, it goes in five times with a remainder of one. Right? Right? 
Hey, Mr. Groom, uh, 3 goes into 9 evenly, doesn't it? So what will the remainder be? Zero. A lot of people yesterday were putting 3 right there. Friend, friend. Zero. Mr. Groom doesn't want the actual only times it goes in. I want the remainder, yes? So if it goes in evenly, 0 remainder, okay? And then 3 goes into 10, 3 times, that's 9. 10 minus 9 is 1. 1 remainder, yes? So 1 plus 0 plus 1 is 2. Now, what do we call 2? What do we call 2 in mod 3? Mr. Green, what does that even mean? I don't know. Let's think. Here's my mod 3 clock. What would you call 2 on this clock? You'd call it 2 because it's on the clock. And there it is. Because it's on the clock, for crying out loud. Now, some people, Layla, are saying, Mr. Grum, that's great, but what if it was 17? Well, that would make this a 2 here, yes? Are you with me? Layla, you're right. Good job, Layla. Good job. Good job. And Mr. Grum, what if this was a seven, uh, 11 rather here? Okay, Layla, fine. Whatever. That would be a 2 right there, yes? What is 2 plus 2? Well, it's 4. But oh, what is 4 in a mod 3 setup? It's 1, right? Because you went all the way around, and then one more, yes? Boom. Again, I just want you to do a couple of them this way to break them apart. We'll do another one, but that's the idea of them. Not very difficult. So I want you to practice doing a couple of them that way. We'll do one more. This one you'll enjoy, I think. Uh, you really don't have to write this down. Listen, look at the first one. Does two go into that? Uh, well, it ends in, ends in an even number, so yeah. So what will the remainder be? Zero. And what about 62? Zero. And what about 19? It can only be a one, right? Because it's a two-hour clock. Zeros and ones, yes? So it's got to be a one. So my answer is simply one mod two. Yes? Hey, not very difficult. Not very difficult. Okay, very straightforward. Okay, that's actually one that kind of uses sometimes. It can actually come up some places, like in programming kind of things, because it's just a quick way to check to see if something's odd or even. Yes, right. If you divide by two quickly, boom. Oh, I get a decimal. Oh, sorry. Or what is it? It's in mod two. If it's one, it's an odd number. If it's zero, it's an even number. Okay, it's a nice quick way to do that. And then, Sarah, I'm glad you're finally here. It's exciting to see you, dear. I'm really happy that you're. I'm not. It's not even a joke. I am really truly beside myself ecstatic about this. Now, what if I did this one here? It's negative. What does this really mean to me? It means we're just going around and think backwards, yes? How did I tell you to do this problem the other day? You remember? There's a little trick to this one. makes it easier. So instead of doing negative 1473 divided by 11, I want you to divide by negative 11. In other words, you're going to go around it backwards. But it ends up up. Well, because you're going to divide, you need a positive, you need a positive number. It's going to tell you how many times you went around backwards. What does that come out to be? What does it come out to be? Divide it up. Negative 11 goes into 14, se negative 14, 73. Uh, exactly? No, point A 133 point something, something, something. Yes? Does everyone get that? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 133 times negative 11. And what will I get when I do that? It will be a negative number. This is true. Negative 1,463. Is that what I'm told? Okay, now, what do we always do? We minus them, yes? So what happens when you minus this minus? You're plussing. Really, right? So you're going to get a remainder of negative 10, correct? Don't come ask me how to do this one, don't, but also don't screw it up, okay? Pay attention. This is kind of a big deal. This is the trickiest part of the whole freaking thing right there, yes? So negative 10. What does that mean to me? Well, it means if I draw myself a clock over here that has 11 numbers on it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, yes? It's saying I'm going to start here and I'm going to go this way and I'm going to count around 10. That'll put me at one. Okay? I like counting them out on the, on the clock. It just makes me happy. I don't know. Other people like it this way. There's the other way to do that is to take your mod number, which in this case is 11, and then do the minus 10 from that fellow. That's another way to find it. Okay? 
I don't care for it that way as well. I prefer to count it out, but that's just me. You do you. I just don't care. I just don't care. More than one way to skin a cat. Just have some fun with it there. Just gotta get her done. I have oozed all my ooze. I moved out. That's true. I'm done. I'm really done after yesterday afternoon. I might have had just a, just a little, just a skosh of ooze left until yesterday afternoon when, when two people showed up oh. to get help. Mr. Groom, can I come in and see you Wednesday? Oh, yeah, you totally can. Two. Two. Well, on any discreet man stuff. Two. I, I bet. Do you know what I told the boss yesterday? I said, I got like people that are failing discreet man. He's like, yeah. I says, guess how many of them showed up today? Uh, one. No, you're close. Two. Well, it's ridiculous. I'm like, I, I'm well aware of that. Do you know what I told Williams earlier this year? He says, Jay, class is pretty engaging. I said, thank you, Chris. I appreciate that. I said, remember that when you ask me later this year what it is that I can do to get kids more excited about coming to my classroom. Do you remember that? And then don't ask me. Okay? Because I'm busting my butt. All right? It's not like I'm saying, here, here, do this thing. Do this thing. Dude, and ain't nobody saying names. But I'm saying, don't come crying, don't come asking me what more I can do to get kids excited about learning. Okay, I do my dog and pony show every day, okay? And, and so anyways, I was telling Mr. Zare, he's like, yeah, it's pretty sad. I'm like, it is pretty sad. Well, you're making yourself available and they don't come. I know, I know. Anywho, as I say, that about killed it. I got no real concern left, okay? Will I still help people? Of course I will. I'm not a, I'm a horrible person for God. Well, most of the time. I'm not. But I just feel like that, you know, if you're not going to show up, well, ah, sounds like a personal problem. Uh, let's do this one and we'll call it a day on this one, I think. So how many times does uh, this go? I'm going to write it out like this so you don't forget to do it with the negative. It's going to go in 66 times, point something, yes? So it's going to go in 66 point yada 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 so it's 66 times negative 7 is 462 negative right mm -hmm. so if I take negative 465 minus a minus 462 that feels like it's going to give me a difference of negative 3 right again if you draw your clock I just feel this is just the way I like to do it uh, starting here go this direction three places that's one two three there's my answer or you could also do 7, which is my mod number, minus 3 is also 4. Yeah, either one of those methods works perfectly hunky-dory. Okay? Right? Negatives make sense on the clock just like negatives make sense in other places in real life. Yep. Negatives means it was some time ago. <coughs> right? Yeah. All right? That happens, right? Oh, Mr. Groom, I forgot when I put the pizza in the oven. Oof. Well, what time was it on the clock? Well, I feel like it was like... Like 15 minutes ago. So, like negative 15 minutes from where it is now. No, I don't think so. Yes! That's right. Here's a hint. Stay by the oven. Don't burn it. Okay? Because it's my pizza. But that's the idea. All right? Negative makes sense in the real world. There are lots of places where you're like, oh, that makes sense. Okay? That's all this means. Just going around the clock backwards. That's it. That's all. All right. Here's your assignment. Um, and, you know, again, talk to each other. Look at your notes. Come ask.